Hi, my name is Rocky Rohr, and uh, today I am showing you a PowerPoint trick that I am stealing from a uh, smart board technology that I saw, and that is uh, a tab in the middle of a PowerPoint slide that I can pull up as needed. Uh, you can see on the screen here uh, a typical problem that I might put up on the board during a lecture in physics. And uh, off to the side, there are two tabs. One tab says answer, which is, of course, the answer to this particular problem. And above that is some data that we might find useful for this problem that maybe we have memorized, maybe we would normally look up in a book, uh, but I wanted it easily accessible. So uh, in class, I might uh, start working on a problem. And uh, this would be up on the whiteboard, and I could do a little bit of writing and some work and so forth. And then eventually, we would need, uh, say, the mass of the Earth. Uh, I have done the problem in three other hours already, so I know the work. But uh, it'd be nice to have it just in case I forget. And so what I have set up is that uh, on the side here, if I click on Earth data, notice how data about the Earth shows up. And uh, when I'm done with it, I can click on it, and it hides. So uh, what did I need? The math. So I'll bring this back up again. And uh, I've got the math. And uh, I can use that in my calculations. And uh, I can go on a little bit further and uh, eventually come up with uh, some sort of a number. Um, suppose we get the time period is uh, 85 minutes. And then I can go over here and check and see how I did. That was pretty close. We probably rounded it somewhere. Anyway, it's that trick that I'd like to show you how to create today. So here's what I've got. This is a PowerPoint now where we're editing it. And uh, you can see off to the side is uh, are those blue tabs. If I click on one of them and go to Animations, Custom Animation, you can see uh, a little bit of the magic behind all of this. Uh, these were a uh, fact that I added. That was a motion path that went in and out. Um, but notice the special uh, looks a little different if you've seen animations before. This has a trigger attached to it. So uh, I want to show you how to create one of those. So down here, I had thought of another particular tab I might find useful, and that is to put all the, the relevant formulas uh, for this problem. So uh, I created a rectangle. I created a trapezoid, which uh, uh, I typed the word formulas into. And then through Microsoft Equation Editor, I created the formulas. And uh, the first thing I would need to do is to group all of these things together. So I will bring this down in here and uh, connect the tab together. And then uh, by control clicking, I will click on all three of those objects. So they're all selected. And then right click to group them together. And uh, I'm going to move these a second to the correct slide. Typically, I would just build that right on this slide. But uh, I wanted to show you first and then be able to quickly come back here and create it. So to create the tab effect now, I will slide these off the page. And uh, if I run it right now and click on formulas, notice it doesn't do anything. I have to set up the animation still. So to do that, I'm going to um, click on the group and add an effect. And the motion path is what I want. I want it to move um, onto the screen, which would be to move to the right. And uh, this tells it how far it needs to move. Uh, or how far it's going to move. Uh, I need it to move a little bit further than that. So I'm going to stretch this a little bit longer. That should be good enough to bring the whole tab onto the screen. And uh, I'm also going to create the opposite effect so that it goes away again. And so that would be to go left, click on the object again, add an effect, and make it go left. And uh, I want it to go just the same distance to the left. So I'm going to pull this over here a second and make sure that I drag this 
the exact same length. That should be good. And uh, if I run F5 uh, to run the program now, uh, if I just click anywhere, it does that. And I don't want to do that because I might not need the formulas. I might just want to click to move on to the next problem. So what I'd like it to do is to only come up if I click on formulas, not if I click on answer or earth data or anything else. To do that, that's where the special trigger comes into play. And uh, you'd have to go to one of those animations that you just added and right click on it to where it says effect options. In the effect options, you get to add special effects to just that particular transition. And if you go to timing, the timing tab, there's a, a section here called triggers. Uh, and what triggers allows you to do is to click only when you click on us or to, to come in only when you click on a specific thing. It could be the title, um, it could be the words uh, of the problem, or it could be one of the objects that's on the slide. And this particular object um, is group 17. Uh, as you can see over here, um, that's called group 17. So. Now, both of those things are under the trigger group 17, and so those will only work if I'm clicking on group 17. If I click on group 9, then group 9, which happens to be the, um, the answer tab. If I click on group 5, then that would be the earth data tab. And now if I run my program, or, or run the PowerPoint, if I click on Earth Data, the Earth Data tab comes up. If I click on Formulas, the Formula tab comes up. If I click on either of those, they'll go away. And if I really didn't want any of those, if I just wanted to move on to the next problem, I can just click here. So I hope you found that, help, uh, that tip helpful. And uh, if you use it or uh, want to use it in a class, uh, feel free um, to. And, uh, don't hesitate to email me. My email address is roarr at npchristian.org. Thank you.